Dad always did this on our birthdays, so I'm keeping up tradition. Oh, I've grown massively. There. Oh, yes, I'm well taller than Laura when she turned 13. Result. Can you believe that I'm going to be a teenager? Wait, does that mean that I'm going to suddenly wake up with spots and an attitude? Oh. Mum's given me a surprise party. Now, I know what you're thinking. How did I find out? Well, Mum told Lauren, and Lauren can totally not keep a secret. <laughs> Should I go out on my birthday? You can. Mum's giving you a surprise. A surprise what? A su surprise ha haircut? A surprise party. Just as well. I hate surprises. <laughs> You'll literally never guess what. What? I can't tell you. It's a surprise. Oh, not another one. Put it this way, though. I would not like to be in your shoes, and not just because they're small and uncool. What is it? Tell me. Wait, is it a bad thing? Does Craig have a twin? Oh, tell me. No, it's a secret. Besides, I have my reputation to think of. For what? Telling you a secret is like posting it online. That's not true. I have to respect it if Dad wants to give you a surprise. Surprise what? Don't say haircut. A surprise dentist appointment. Great. What a birthday. No hair and no teeth. Dur no, it's a surprise party. Two surprises. That's two too many. I've got to get one of them to cancel the party, but I can't lay on that I know. Tricky. Can I go to Dad's on my birthday? What? Why? What's he want? Oh, have you got something planned? Me? No. What do I have planned? OK, then. Yeah, Tony? Yes? Have you forgotten about the surprise party? The what? Uh, no, no. Uh, don't worry, it's all in hand. Um, I, I made a list. No, no, no. Let's see. Right, um, I'm getting sweets, uh, party hats, and loads of those little sausages that no one eats. No, I'm getting the little sausages that no one eats because I'm the one having the party. Oh dear, someone's got hold of the wrong end of the stick. Yes, you. Tony. Tony. Are you listening to me? So I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. See, it's not a problem, because we'll just... We'll move yours to a different day. Well, why don't you move yours? OK. Uh, why don't we have both on the same day, but at different times? Uh, because, uh, uh, that would be bonkers. Not as bonkers as having them at the same time. I don't believe this. Fine. Good. I knew you'd see sense. What? <sighs> move it. Wonder what I'll be like when I'm a teenager. Move it, bum face. Will I have anger issues like Lauren? You wish you bum at this good. If you don't get out of my way now, I will literally scream my head off. <gasps> you? Mm. Huh? Mm. Ah. Or will I speak fluent grunt like Craig? I guess you'll find out when it happens. Like chicken pox. Or with less scratching. Right, brainstorm. What are we gonna do for Millie's do? Well, she's growing up. When I was 13, I kissed my first boy. Mum, Mom, gross! There'll be no kissing at my little girl's party. All I mean is, Millie might not even want a party party. I mean, maybe you could take her to a gig or horse riding. Mm, nah, she's getting a proper party. Right, come on, you lot. Think fun. Right, Millie will be a teenager, so Swiss roll and bendy straws just won't cut it. Why don't you ask Tony what he's planning and then you two can compliment each other like chalk and cheese? Huh? Like I'm going to...
going to give him an advantage by telling him all my party secrets? It's not a competition, you know. No, of course not. But I do still want to win. Why not do what you did on my 13th, get lost on the way to the water park and squabble with Dad? We could do face painting. Or something a bit more teenage nail painting. I could organise some games. Good, like, like, pass the parcel. Uh, no. She's 13, not five. Oh, and I could play an egg guitar solo. Oh, King of Rock, I salute you. Oh, and I could lure her here by telling her we've got a surprise for her. Oh, no, wait. And we have to practice jumping out like shouting, party! No, you shout surprise, babe. Surprise, babe! Just surprise. Just surprise! Well, you're the teenagers. What do you think Millie might like? Some decent sounds, of course, from a cutting-edge DJ such as moi. I could invite some of my friends, older kids, so Millie has someone to look up Deep to. Deep-fried pizza. A no-parents chill-out room. Uh, how about decorating cupcakes? Well, I'm sorry, it's all getting a bit full-on. Mike, kids don't stay sweet and innocent forever, you know. I mean, look at Lauren and Craig. Besides, I don't want Millie thinking I'm clinging to the past like tragic Velcro. And I bet Tony's pan is something really cool and edgy. Ta-da! Balloon hat! Wicked! Are you going to do that at Millie's party? Too late. Why wouldn't I? Right, I'm going to go and make Millie's cake. Did you just say you're going to make a cake? Yeah, why? Making a cake's easy. It's basically just eggs. And I can cook eggs. Sort of. I know, right? But I gotta try. Can't just wait for 13 to hit me. Oh, Millie! Millie, you're up there! You know it's your birthday, right? Not Halloween. That's my makeup! Well, you know that we will be teens together soon. I mean, we can share clothes, makeup, styling tips. Here's a tip touch my stuff again, and you're dead. Wait, can you give me some teenager lessons? I mean, you're the master, right? Do I have a clue what I'm doing? That's for sure. You look like Bellatrix Lestrange. Teach me your secrets. Oh, great one. OK. The teenage death stare. Now you go. You look like an angry gerbil. So, the tantrum, stand back. <clears throat> sort yourselves out! This is unacceptable! I'm not a child! But I am a child? Yes, but only when it suits you. OK, so you don't look for stuff, because that's what parents are for, so you can't find your glasses. But I'm wearing them. Concentrate. Now go. Mom! I can't find my glasses! Mom! Louder. But they're right here. Louder! Mom! What do you want? Roll it up. More. But my thighs will get cold. So? You want people to think you're like a Victorian librarian? OK, that's better. Now, I'm... Look, I'm sorry, but I just don't feel like I have anything else to learn. Oh, don't you? I mean, I pretty much know all already. Now, listen to me, geek face. It's OK. Just being a teenager. <laughs> what? I don't know. It's just your clothes, your hair, you. I can't imagine you as one of us. Yeah, told you I could make a cake. And I may have missed out the uh, eggs, but uh, what do you reckon? Wow. It's like the bad British Bake Off. It's harder than it looks. And that's saying something. I can see that I'm going to have to have a go. No, Mum, you know what you like. Um, excuse me, I deliver babies for a living. I think I can deliver a chocolate sponge. And there'll be just as much screaming involved. Surprise! Oh, man alive! <laughs> Mike! Hiya! Hiya! Sensory deprivation. 
clears the mind. Fancy a go? I'm getting rid of some stuff. Your old toys? Or even this? Did Craig change much? You know, when he turned into a teenager? You're kidding. One minute he's this happy little guy, running around, eating worms, sticking things up his nose. The next, boom, caveman. Hardly came out of his room for a year. <laughs> he used to put his headphones on and howl. Because <laughs> he thought that I couldn't hear him because he had the <laughs> on his ears. Yeah. The thing is, if growing up was easy, everyone would do it Mills. Oh, you're not having me some of your mates? Mm -hmm. What, well, I'm having some of mine as well? Just the VIPs. Otherwise, that'd be way too many. VIPs? What's that? Very irritating people? Don't think so. Billy doesn't want to share her special day with little scruffy oiks and low sung jeans. Yo. Yo. What up? Party at my place. People. Who's coming? What's happening? What should I wear? Stop being so controlling. It's not your party. Oh, well, it is your party, but it's a surprise. Oh, I hate surprises. Mum and Dad are still having two parties, you know. Same day, just different times, and they're getting so competitive over it. It's not going to end well. No. Remember the Shrek Wars? <sighs> there you go, my wee ogre. Two bowls of swamp gruel for you. Why is our porridge green? Has anyone seen my donkey? Well, it's not an impression. That's just you doing your normal voice in a costume. Someone's a sore loser. Yes, you are! And as usual, they went far too far. OK, we need a plan. How about cancel my birthday? But then we 12 forever. Yeah, I know. Let's get Mum and Dad to have a joint party. Mum and Dad together? Are you sure that's such a hot idea? Yeah, they'll be fine. I mean, they might freak out about it when you tell them, but... Me? Why do I have to tell them? Well, I'm not meant to know what's happening, remember? <sighs> Craig, you idiot! What is this? You put an invitation online? Yeah, you get mates, I get mates. You made the invite open, genius, and so now everyone from Miles can come? What? <laughs> no, I didn't. Oh. Right, so we've got to stop them. How? A boy in my year once put out an open invitation. His family are still living in a tent. It's OK, we can just move the whole party to Dad's. If there's no party here, no one can come. Ha! Sorted. Wow, Mum, that's actually good. Well, I was so surprised. Sharon's not the only one that can bake. And I'd like to see her deliver triplets in a mobile library. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um... I had some left over, so I made cupcakes. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, have that one. Bon appetit. Good one. That is way too salty. Oh. Oh. Have you put one and a half teaspoons in? Yeah. Oh. I guess I'll have to make the cake then. Don't get carried away. I'll make something special. Something unforgettable. Fran, remember when they had to carry out a controlled explosion on your science project? Surprise! <sighs> <sighs> Hi, love. What's up? Kitchen, head. Why? Go, 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 go. Make sure they listen to you. OK, I know what I'm doing. Oh, Tony. Shaz? Oh. What a lovely surprise. Well, what a surprise. OK, listen up. You guys are going to have to have Millie's parties together. Together? Together? Oh, no, I don't think that's a very good idea. But the crucial thing is together at Dad's. Uh, no, love. Mum's right for once. It's better if we have the parties apart. Sort yourselves out. This is unacceptable. You never gave 
make me do birthday parties. Oh, love, is this what this is all about? Ooh, emotions. I better go. Uh, let's just keep things as they are, eh? Wait! I know all about the surprise parties. What? No, there's no surprise parties here. Oh, how did you find that out? I just did. But Lauren's right. I only want one party, so I don't have to go back and forth. And she wants it at Dad's. What? No, I don't. Fine! It's your funeral. Sorry if I ruined the supplies. It'll be better this way. <clears throat> Whoa! When did you come back as a zombie? To help get you out of trouble. Why? Well, you spend most of your life trying to get me into trouble. That's just the kind of caring person that I am. But now I'm going to totally own you. Now video me. <coughs> Sorry, the party's cancelled. I've got, um, itchy mountain fever. It's rare and highly contagious and I wouldn't wish it on anyone, so don't come, okay? <coughs> Great, now maybe my sister's party won't turn into some kind of freak show. You have met your family, right? Thirteen! I don't look any different. Where are my teenage spots? No, actually, that's a good thing. <laughs> Come in. Happy birthday, sweetie. You don't mind if I give you a hug? What? Of course not. Oh, you never know with teenagers. Oh, no spots then. Right. Come downstairs when you're ready, love. Okay, Mum. My first teenage decision. What should I wear? Oh, I love this outfit, but maybe I've grown out of it. Is it too babyish? Mm. Nah. There. Oh, this track is great, but is it okay to like it? What will people think of my outfit? It's probably best if I never say or do anything ever again. That is amazing! It's the Glasgow Tower. Tallest tower in the world. I don't think it is. Capable of rotating 360 degrees. Watch. <laughs> It's ruined! Oh, love. I tried to tell you about cake overreach. Hey, Millie. Happy birthday. Having a good time? I'm worried about my party. What party is that? I know about the surprise, OK? Oh, OK. So, what do you worry about? I don't know what teen I'm meant to be. Thirteen? No, I mean what kind. Am I a screamer? A grunter? It's OK for you. You're still twelve. I wish I was still 12. It seems like only yesterday when things were so simple. It was yesterday. And what's my look? Trendy? Indie? Dragged through a hedgy? Wear what you want. It's your birthday. Come on, Millie, I'm going to take you out shopping! I've got to go. Bye. Bye. Now you think this itchy mountain fever is going to work? It better, or you're doomed. Oh, where is itchy mountain, anyway? Hiya, hiya. Yeah, Sharon's still out with the birthday girl. Hiya. Come in, to Tony. Hiya, hi. 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 Quick, where are we going to hide? We don't want her to see us. Oh, no, it's all right, because surely... He's been practising. Oh, yeah. Why don't we hide down here? Uh... Surprise? Surprise! Surprise! Oh, yeah, surprise! 
Only my family would fake a surprise party. Well, I had no clue. Ha! Got you fooled. Well, someone was. Right. Let's get this party started. Come on, in the kitchen. Someone got dressed in the dark. With their eyes closed. I actually think it's pretty on point. It's her own, like, look. That's mine, by the way. Someone's not holding the shading stick. Oh, my two teenage girls. <laughs> Boys will start asking for your digits. And everything I say will be embarrassing. Mum, <laughs> stop it! You're being embarrassing? <gasps> That's my teenage girl. Happy birthday, love. Laura said it's what you wanted. <gasps> Look, bronzing pearls! That drove fresh mint to a lion. Thanks, Mum, for my presents. I'll get it! Oh, I'll get it! Oh, yo, yo, don't open that. It's the party animals who are so crazed they don't care what lurky they catch. No, 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 no. Hey, yeah! Uh, hey, hey, oh, oh, my God! Yeah. I'm the DJ. Um, the sounds in the lounge. Nibbles? Oh, you don't need that, love. You're beautiful as you are. Dad, balloon animals? Seriously. Don't kid me, you're too grown up. I know you love it. That, that's a giraffe. Use your imagination. Right. What can I do for you, young lady? Snake? Eel? Worm? Duck-belled platypus? Ouch. You bought it from a shop? I didn't have a choice, did I? Mess the icing up a bit. No-one will ever know. Who's for past the parcel? Don't blame me. I tried for horse riding. Don't worry, love. They can all join in. What? Dad? Come on, we big can't. crowd. Dad, 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 this... Dad, Dad, Dad. Excuse me. Thank you. OK, Sonny, summon upbeat. No vocals, on and off at mass signal. OK. Right, gather round for past the parcel. Yeah. Stop him, he's been so embarrassing. Stop him. That's it, ladies and gents. Settle yourselves down, good. What do you think you're doing? It's called Pass the Parcel. Oh, yeah. I'm on it. OK, Sonny. They're a bit old for this, aren't they? Nonsense. You're never too old for Pass the Parcel. Stop. <laughs> I told you. There you are. It's time for cake. And then, bumps. And the nightmare continues. Three, two, one. Yay! Yay! Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> Amber made you a cake this year. Looks good, eh? It's very professional. Mm. Oh. Mmm. That is yummy. Anyway, moving on. Oh, mm, Chalk apocalypse is cracking, but I think this one's even better. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, it is one of our best sellers, that Sunny Shopper. Amber made that cake. Oh, yeah, and I'm still 21. Well, just because it's not one of yours, you have to ring the changes sometimes. Oh, what about you, Tony? With your balloons? Well, at least that was fun. Let's keep it light and bubbly, shall we? Remember, a frown is just a smile upside down. Really? Is that so? Right. Well, come on, my lot. We're going. Oh, yeah, it's typical. Yeah, just walk out. Stop it! Stop arguing! Maybe if you'd talked about it before, my party wouldn't have been this weird mashup between the Kardashians and the Clangers. And did anyone think to ask me what I wanted? 
What do you want, love? I don't know. Teenager. Teenager. I can't believe I just did that. I guess now I know what kind of teenager I am. The horrible, spoiled kind that disses her own party. What a disaster. Come in. I'm sorry. You did so much for me. No, love, it was, it was our fault. I just didn't want your party to be old-fashioned. Oh, and I did. Why do you want her to grow up so fast? All those clothes and makeup. But she's changing. It's like Lauren. One minute it's bunny ears, the next it's panda eyes. Look, maybe I'm a bit old for balloon animals, but also a bit young for disco fever. I'm sorry I ruined the party. It wasn't you, Millie. Couldn't we have one more go? You know, maybe give us a few clues. Well, OK. OK, I sent my friends home. Good. Now it's time for my party. Play this, DJ. Hey, what's on this? Never mind, it's all brill. And I'm really hungry. I could send out for pizza. Tony, that is the smartest thing I've heard all day. And take it away, Jake. <laughs> Go on, son. <laughs> it's a proper nice one. I told Mum which one to get. So, can I borrow it? No. Thank you. So what did Dad get you? Seriously, is he joking? I know, right? So cute, though. <laughs> They'll never mix, will they, Mum and Dad? Nah. They're like oil and water. You can shake them about a bit, but they'll separate out again. Ooh, actually. There you go. A selfie stick. Thanks. <laughs> Whatevs, welcome to the club, teenager. <laughs> so, that's that. I'm 13. <laughs> and maybe I don't know it all just yet, but I think when I'm 14, I definitely will. <laughs> Night, Will. Night, Lauren. 